Hello everyone. Today's video is about using corner treatment in SolidWorks weldments. Corner treatment in SolidWorks weldments is essential for controlling how structural members, like beams, pipes, or tubes, connect at their intersections. SolidWorks provides specific tools to manage these intersections, allowing for clean fits, correct fabrication. How to apply corner treatment in SolidWorks weldments. In this example, I will demonstrate the process using a welded frame component. Referring to the technical drawing, the weldment is constructed from square tubing with cross-sectional dimensions of 4 inches by 4 inches. Both part 1 and part 2 have a length of 24 inches. These dimensions are critical for accurately defining the 3D sketch. The base structure measures 24 inches by 24 inches with a center-to-center -center distance of 20 inches between members. Create your weldment structure. Start by making a 2D and 3D sketch with the paths for your structural members. On the top plane, create a square measuring 20 in times 20 in using the center rectangle tool. Ensure all sides are equal and dimensioned at 20 inches. Create a 3D sketch and insert a vertical center line from the midpoint of the square upward. Connect the top endpoint of this line to each of the square's four corners, forming inclined lines. Apply an equal relation so all inclined edges match the square's side length. Exit the 3D sketch. Apply Weldment Profile. Switch to the Weldments tab and create a new structural member. Select Square Tube for inches times 4 inches the profile size. Assign groups for structural members. Group 1, select the first two inclined lines. Ensure and miter is enabled in the first dialog. Why and miter? Let's take a look. How can we modify the trim order and adjust the treatment type? Trim order determines which members trim the others. Corner treatment options. End miter. Members are cut at angles to miter with each other for a clean, continuous joint. End but one and but two creates but joints where one member butts into another. For three-way or more complex junctions, ensure all groups have the same trim order for a full multi-member miter. Let's continue. Group 2, 
select the next two inclined lines. This dot appears where two members meet. At the intersection, click the dot. The corner treatment dialog appears, showing the current groups meeting at that corner. Set trim order equals one for both group one and group two. We got great connections. We have. All types of pipes are the same. Continue group assignments. Group 3, add the next two lines. Group 4, add the remaining two lines. Let's update corner treatment dialog. At the intersection, click the burgundy dot to access the corner treatment dialog. Set trim order equals one for both group one and group two. And we will repeat this at all four points of the base. Let's sum it up. Where and why use corner treatment? Examples. Frames with multiple intersecting members, tables, racks, trusses, and more. Ensuring cleaner, stronger joints, especially at miters. SolidWorks also supports automated or manual corner grouping to speed up editing for similar corners in large structures. This workflow ensures precision and ease of manufacture in real-world weldment projects, especially when joints require high accuracy, aesthetics, or standardized fabrication processes. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more SolidWorks tutorials.